We've got an event out here today with about 90 kids uh, from all different walks of life. And our goal is to help them catch fish and just interact with them and let, it, let them see beneath the uniform so that they can see us as human. And that way, when we stop them as they become older, older uh, young adults or older adults, that they'll be more inclined to just cooperate with us and, and know that we're there to help them and not harm them. So yeah, these are at-risk kids as identified by the school district. And uh, we just contacted the five disti different district supervisors last year. Um, we have five districts that touch Huntington Beach. Uh, I told them what the pro program was about and asked for their cooperation and told them that we were, we were looking for at-risk kids. I love being out here with my kids. I think it gives us time to interact as just people and they see me in a different light as their assistant principal at spring. Just being out here and having fun, it's a great day. And we have some students that are um, under our homeless McKinney Vinto Act and those kiddos you know they're in different houses every day sometimes or floating on different couches and so for them to just kind of get out here in the park and forget about everything else at home is a really nice opportunity. For all I know there may be some children here are homeless, there may be some children here who have folks that are in and out of jail, there may be some children here that have different circumstances that really we don't know about but the district does. It closes that community gap for us and we can take that onto our campus and I know on a personal note um, I have better relationships with these kids. I have less behavior problems with them at school because they, they know that uh, we've hung out together and we've shared some really positive time. We have stories to share with each other now. Whereas before, I may not have known these kids a whole lot, now I do, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Part of our goal too is if we touch a couple of kids that get interested in a hobby or something to do outside of school and not just sit at home idle with no free time, something productive and positive, that, that's kind of what the goal is here and, and then everybody wins in terms of that. So parents, they're touched the same way the kids are because again, sometimes the parents feel the same way about the police that the kids do. They don't trust them, they don't know who they are, they don't know they're regular people. So this is just another way for the kid to come home and say, Mom, Dad, you won't believe what happened today. There were a bunch of cops around and there were people helping us fish and we caught some fish and I think it's a great day, great program. So you always want it activated, okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you what that does. Remember how it was spinning the other way? Yeah. Now it's not. See? Oh, okay, thank you. Field trips are, are supposed to serve more than one function. Fun is certainly an aspect of it, but another function is learning. And so the five different stages we have here at today's event are basically scientific type events. The kids are learning about uh, the biology of fish, they're learning about the ecology of different water bodies of water, they're learning about um, the different stages of what it is to go fishing, catch a fish, bring it in, and even up to cleaning it. This is a program uh, called Fishing in the City. Uh, Brian Young from California Department of Wildlife, or Fish and Wildlife, is, is ahead of this program, and he's done a fantastic job. He's, uh, he's offered to help us with future events as well, and Fish and Wildlife from the state here has been fantastic. Ever since I took the program over, I've, I've been very uh, adamant about, about the, the police reaching out to the communities and you know, bridging those divides and and the the social you know there, there shouldn't be um, a situation where uh, you know a, a social issue between uh, uh, police officers and the public um, and anytime we can get um, these programs to, to get the communities to see that what services are available to them, and, and actually these kids just um, see that not everybody in uniform is something to be afraid of. Okay. It's a turtle! The turtle's going to be okay. <laughs> That's not good! Right, okay. Way to go. Not a lot of turtle catchers here today, you're one of the few. I'm nice. super proud of you. Nice turtle. Faith caught a turtle! Yes! <laughs> We have yeah. turtles, yeah. We didn't plant the turtles. Yeah, yeah. Department of Fish and Wildlife was, was gracious enough to give us 524 pounds of catfish for today's event. And so that's what the kids are trying to catch, but there's always going to be an incidental catch here and there. If, if nothing else, we showed, them, we showed the kids what's possible today, and that's what we really hope for. Three here. Is that your first fish? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Nice. You, have kiss, you have to kiss your first fish. No! Oh. 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 O